Alright, um, hi everyone. Today I've got a sword and shield Wi-Fi battle for you. Um, feels weird saying them words, but uh, yeah, uh, I've got one for you today. Uh, I gave it to my buddy Aaron. Uh, now, I'm going to quickly go over the teams before we get into it, because that's kind of the standard practice. So as you can see, my team is actually based around uh, getting up hazards with uh, Excadrill, well, getting up rocks with Excadrill, getting up toxic spikes with Toxapex, and then uh, phasing around... Uh, with grapple opt in order to basically weaken down my opponent enough to sweep with scarf dracovish and life orb cinderace my opponent uh, he has a really flames team man he's got a mr mime he's got a delmies and uh, you'll see some surprises but and a colossal of course how can i forget but um He's got some kind of a cool picks uh, as we go into the battle, you'll kind of get it, but he has some really cool sets going on. I feel kind of bad because I'm bringing like a really boring team against like some, like clearly a Flames team. So I'm just going to get into it now. We've got the little intro going on here. Um, yeah, like a little bit of a precursor going into this. Um, I actually forgot to EV my Toxapex before this battle, so my Toxapex, is, Toxapex isn't taking hits as well as it should, as you'll see a little bit later on. But um, well, we'll, we'll kind of see as we get into it. So I actually decided to leave with my Excadrill on this because I really wanted to get up my rocks. Noticed he only really had one or two spinners uh, or defoggers. So I was like, okay, I'm just going to leave with Excadrill, get my rocks up. I've got a focus sash so I can take any one hit. Um, as he leaves with Mr. Mime, decides to switch it out because I guess he didn't really, he wasn't really confident with the lead matchup there. Or in case I was scarfed Excadrill, I could have just blown him away immediately. He decides to go into his Delmies and I just decide, okay, I'm just going to start spamming Iron Head because Delmies isn't that bulky, right? I can probably... um start hitting this thing for some damage i want this thing dead and he sets up a sword stance which is fantastic for me i know it seems really scary uh, and he decides to go big or go home right here he goes decides to dynamax up his uh his delmise which as i say isn't really a problem because i've still got uh excadrill standing here with his focus sash uh, still intact my iron head was like you know in the three hit ko range well with the double hp on delmise it won't be able to quite do that now but um it will still do a decent amount of damage to it i just want to get rid of this thing as i say i still have the sash intact so i can um and I'm still faster as well, like, uh, Dynamaxing only increases your HP and your moves. Doesn't make you any faster, and he hasn't boosted up with Rapid Spin or anything quite like that. I'm sure he didn't want to once he saw the, uh, once he kind of saw the damage I was doing to him with Iron Head. So this is really good. Um, as I say, he takes me down to my sash there with a big old plus two max overgrowth. But, um... He covers the battlefield in grass as well, which is quite nice, because I get a little bit of healing. doesn't really <laughs> play into much, but it is cool. Um, and as I say, I'm just going to go for one more Iron Head. He's down to the point where um, it's not quite going to kill him, but he's very easy to range kill with pretty much anyone on my team. Um, I'm deciding it's a really good opportunity here uh, to go into my into my Dracovish, because Dracovish, uh, he doesn't really have anything to take hits from Dracovish, because if you guys don't know, Ficious Rend is an absolutely stupid move in this game. Um, it's like 170 base power, <laughs> and he doesn't have a switch in for it, so I just decided to go straight for that, just in case he wants to switch anything into it, but he doesn't, he just uh, lets his lets his uh, Delmies die, which is good for me, because that means his Dynamax is out of the way, so the one really unpredictable broken part of this is, uh, is pretty much gone, so that's really reassuring. He decides to go into Mr. Mime here, and like an idiot, I just stay in. Why? <laughs> I'm so mad, because I was really mad at myself for letting this happen, like, obviously he was scarfed, but... That was a really big part of my win condition here. I could have literally just brought in uh, Dracovish after like pretty much everything, and he didn't have switch-ins for it. I don't know why I decided to do that. But now that I know he's Scarf, because I'm obviously Scarf and he outsped me, I can go into my Cinderace here. Uh, my Cinderace is for the other sweeper on the team that likes to uh, just kill everything once uh, once the rest of the team has been weakened. So I just decided to go for a U-turn, thinking he'd switch out. But he actually stays in, freeze-drives me. He doesn't get the freeze, so that's fine. I can U-turn out, and I decide to go into my grapple lock here, because... Um, my grapple lock is really bulky and it can take on pretty much whatever he has left um, from what I remember he, he can take on pretty much whatever he has left I was thinking Hydreigon might be a uh, good switch in here but I know I can take on Specs Hydreigon and kill that really easily because I'm Assault Vest uh, grapple locked I don't know if I clarified that um, I'm max HP max special defense grapple lock so he brings in his um, his toxicity here um, and this is a little bit worrisome because Specs toxicity is really scary to have to deal with. Look how much this boom burst does. That does like half. That's mad. But um, I'm just going to circle throw him out. I didn't really have a super effective move to hit him with, but I thought circle throw would do decent damage and also phases in um, 
the rest of his team which I can handle, except for the Excadrill. The Excadrill is the one thing I didn't want from the circle throw, and he gets it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, this is kind of scary, but it does at least reveal to me that his Excadrill is leftovers. And I actually kept Grapp locked in here, because I was like, okay, if he's leftovers, he might be a bit of a bulkier set. So I'm just going to see if I can take a hit and maybe Drain Punch all the health back, or even close combat him. But no, he just kills me with an Earthquake, which kind of sucks. Um, I probably could have... It, actually, it turns out not to really mean that much, because Grapplock wouldn't have been that useful in the long term anyway. And I'm just going to bring my Cinderace in again, because um, he has no rocks up yet, so I'm just going to hit him with the big old high jump kick um i went i didn't want to go for parable just in case he went into his colossal there because uh, colossal would have obviously sponged that and i didn't want to risk him having steam engine and just sweeping me um but he does go into colossal now um and not wanting to take extra unnecessary recoil damage here i decided to just switch straight out into toxapex i didn't want to u-turn because the damage getting on it wouldn't be worth it with a life orb recoil and also i didn't want to risk a high jump kick not killing because colossal is obscenely bulky i know it's uh it's uh, typing defensively isn't that good, but it has like base 120 HP and base 110 defense or something stupid. It's like really, really bulky, so I don't want to have to risk, um, you know, letting my Cinderace die because that is one of my main win cons here. Is um, come in once uh, Colossal has been weakened and I can pretty much sweep him from there. Um, so I brought in Toxpex on this because I was like, okay, I can take whatever this thing throws at me. Forgetting that I'm not EV'd, of course, I didn't take that Rock Blast quite as well as I'd like. I still took it alright because it's Toxapex, but yeah, no EVs. <laughs> Literally no EVs at all. <laughs> um, but I'm actually faster than Colossal, it turns out, which I didn't expect, so I can actually keep hitting him with Scolds. Four times super effective, even though uh, Colossal is bulky, it's not taking these Scolds particularly well. Because as I say, four times weak and stab, it, it's not going to live. He does manage to get up his Rocks. Um, though which is a problem because now i can't just keep bringing cinderace in for free like i could before now i've actually got to just bring him in once um, and hope for the best now he brings in hydragon this is where the match gets really stupid so uh, i'm just going to kind of skip over this bit basically what happens is uh oh wait no never mind i was wrong uh, i thought he would go straight for a specs move so i was like okay i'm just going to let toxicity die and then i'm going to get a free switch into my um into my Cin uh, Cinderace and hopefully get the kill from there. Turns out he's a Dragon Dance Hydreigon, which is horrifying because now he can he's boosted his speed. My Cinderace is slower than him, um, so I've I've got no choice here but to go back into my Toxpex. And now it gets really long and boring, so I've skipped pretty much over this bit. But all you need to know is I click kept clicking Haze. I didn't want him to set up because I know once he's not set up. My Cinderace just wins. Uh, it's pretty much my win condition at this point. So I'm just going to skip it all over until he locked himself into Outrage, uh, which is really good. That's the first turn he went for Outrage. So now I know, okay, I've just about lived this. I can haze it away. Excellent. I win now because he ha he's locked into Outrage even if he only gets the two turn, which he does. Um, I, I, I can win now uh, because I have my Cinderace in the back uh, and he's not boosted up anymore. So I can bring uh, Cinderace in as long as I don't miss my moves. <laughs> as long as I don't miss my moves, I'll be alright. Um, because he has to rely on two 90% accurate moves. He has to go high jump kick here because I wasn't confident the U-turn would kill with that much health. Because uh, Hydreigon's pretty bulky, you know. It's, it's got big HP stat, big big defense stat because it's the pseudo legendary. But high jump kick easily going to be able to take him out. And I've got enough health to where uh, to where I can live one more life orb recoil, and I can go for the pyroball to take out his toxicity because I know I'm much faster than this. I know he's not running dual scarfers. And yeah, I'm going to be able to finish it off with a Pyroball. Pyroball, really cool animation. Luckily, uh, if you guys don't remember, I always put the last move in slow motion for my Wi-Fi battles. So, you know, it's always a good thing to <laughs> a good thing to see one of the coolest moves in the game get that treatment. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, I know it was a bit of a basic match, but it was really good fun. And I hope you guys uh, enjoyed. So I'll see you all very soon. Thank you very much.